Samhain, we step into the long night waiting at winter's gate. Frost edges the cornfields, leaves wither in decay. Silence blankets the earth as even the crow's call begins to quieten. Trees shake their leaves free and stand bare-boned against the fading light. The fox knows it by its ancient name. She looks to the long nights ahead and curls up in the warmth of her den. We walk deeper into the void, the blackened abyss, the gentle caress of death. For death is a part of life, as natural and as pure as living. Samhain is an ancient celebration mentioned in Irish literature dating back to the 9th century, but likely has its roots a lot further back. Though unfortunately many original traditions have been lost or adapted by other religions along the years, we can still look to this time as our ancestors might have. We can gaze up at the milky moon and bid farewell to the flowers, welcoming in the dark half of the year and knowing that this is not the end. In fact, this is the Celtic New Year, the in-between time where the veil is thinner, where death kisses the land, vegetation falls back and dead ancestors walk the earth with us. In this video, I wanted to share with you a few simple ways that you can celebrate the season. My pagan practice is always simple and rooted in nature. I rarely indulge in ornate rituals as it just doesn't really feel natural to me. Instead, I choose to walk the old path and be mindful within nature as she goes through her changes. I start every single seasonal celebration by taking a walk in nature. It's difficult to truly appreciate the changing of the land if you do not go out and experience it for yourself. And one of my favourite things to do is look for mushrooms. I'm continually amazed at the variety and uniqueness of mushrooms. When it's safe to do so, I love to just touch them and to be honest, just marvel at the sheer strangeness of them. All the peculiarities of nature bring me so much joy. I also made sure to gather some things from outside so that I can decorate my home, including fallen leaves, pine cones and other symbols of autumn. The first thing I wanted to do was create a space where Samhain was revered and autumn was celebrated. But I'm actually moving house very soon so I did not want to decorate a whole room or more like I usually do. So I decided just to create a simple display on the kitchen table. On the table I set out squash, pumpkin decor, leaves, candles and other items. Squash and pumpkins are a symbol of the harvest, the leaves representing the death of nature and letting go of life and the candles to allude to the fact that Samhain is a fire festival. As I see this display each day or share meals around the table, I can be reminded to think of the season. So as I mentioned, Samhain is traditionally a fire festival, a time of wood smoke and embers, a flame and release. So rather than creating an entire bonfire as my ancestors might have, I kept things simple by performing a small ritual intended to release the old year and welcome in the new. Firstly, I took a moment to reflect on the year gone by and write down some of the things I wanted to happen in the next year and some things I wanted to release. For the things I wanted to come true, I reflected on them a while and took them away inside this pumpkin, planting a small seed of intention for the coming year. And for the things I wanted to release, I had another method of dealing with them. I found a quiet space outside where I could breathe in the scent of autumn air and provide more ventilation. Recently when visiting the magical town of Glastonbury, I picked up some incense, which is actually called Samhain and designed for this time of year. I sat for a while as it burned and enjoyed the scent of resin and wood chip and then burnt the things I wanted to release and imagined them fading into the ether. The dark half of the air also means the colder half, and we need to consider nourishing and protecting our bodies more than ever. A traditional remedy for helping against cold and minor illness is elderberry syrup. It's native to the land where I live and is a lovely way to bring nature into my home and body. 
The elderberries have just about faded now, but I have some that I previously dried and you can also buy them online. Into the pot went ginger, cinnamon, cloves and some water and I stirred it together over the flames, adding my thoughts of healing and nourishment as I went. As the spices and berries mixed together, the beautiful scent of autumn filled my home. And after 25 minutes, it was finished and just needed to cool so that honey could be added without damaging any of its healing properties. After it reached a cooler temperature, I added a jar of honey and mixed it all together before adding a label. Taking a spoon or two a day throughout the winter is good practice, but you can also save it for when you feel the beginning of a cold coming on or feel a little under the weather, but please check with a professional if you have any concerns. And there you have it, a few simple ways that you can celebrate Samhain and gain a deeper appreciation for the season. Let me know in the comments if there's anything in particular that you do for the harvest season. Until next time, thanks for watching.